Capricorn, it feels as if you've been dealing with a very painful situation or a very draining time. Hi Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your love and soulmate reading for the month of December 2018, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Go ahead and get started here, Capricorn. I'm going to do a spread here where I pull for both sides, and then you can decide which energy you think you're bringing to the table. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get the first card for Capricorn. For some of you, this is feeling kind of trapped. It's feeling kind of like you're stuck in some sticky situation. It's feeling like you're kind of drowning in the current. Uh, Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. Feels as if things at home may be not going so well, or things with your finances may not be where you would like or hope for. Let's go ahead and get the first card for Capricorn on the left side here. Let's go ahead and get the first card for Capricorn. Okay, here we go. We have the Emperor, first card here. So the person on this side is kind of like a ticking time bomb right now, feeling kind of irritated, kind of getting impatient, tired of waiting for things to uh, you know, go as, as, they, as they request, go as they have planned. Uh, the person over here is kind of at, at this boiling point, kind of fed up with the way things are going. Um, if this isn't you, Capricorn, you could be dealing with an Aries. Let's go ahead and get the energy on the other side. Um, if this person could speak, this person would say, am I being punked right now? get the first card for the second energy on the table. Five of Pentacles on the other side. So the person over here feels as if they've been wounded. Feels as if they're kind of taking on more than they can really handle at this time. Feeling like they are kind of left out in the cold, not really being guided in any sort of direction. Um, having too much to handle, really feeling burdened, not and really praying for better days. So the struggle of possibly finance, the struggle of um, home and family life, Queen of Cups over here, whoever is on this side is somebody I uh, could be dealing with a water sign. It's somebody looking back on better days, somebody wishing that things could be different, somebody kind of going into their emotions more so right now and remembering past hurt, remembering times that felt close to their heart, um, feeling as if they're in a rocky situation or a situation that doesn't feel comfortable emotionally. With the Queen of Swords over here, this person is also starting to feel irritated. This person is feeling the need to detach themselves from things that hold them back. This person is cutting ties with anything that holds them back from being free. This person is kind of 
saying goodbye and letting go of everything that hurts them or every anything that reminds them of pain. Um, this person kind of, I feel like this person's kind of taken more than they can handle and now they're kind of, um, they're looking to free themselves from anything that causes them more pain than, than not. So, it, the energy over here almost feels like an energy that the Emperor and the Queen of Cups this could be a sort of energy that's deceiving or an energy that allures you in uh, by emotional manipulation. And when they don't get the outcome that they seek, they get frustrated, they get irritated. Okay, let's go ahead and get the last card over here on the left. Capricorn. Okay, here we go. Ace of Swords in reverse. So, communication seems to have come to some sort of halt between the two of you. Some sort of, kind of some sort of separation between the two of you all together. It seems as if one or both of you decided to cut things, uh, to cut off ties with one another. Eight of Pentacles over here. Cutting off from things that give you pain, that bring you pain. Trying to stay positive, although I feel as if you've been burdened by many things going on. This could be financially, this could be with family, as this is Pentacle. Um, strongest energy first card. Uh, it seems like you're wanting to move forward into things that give you the ability and the freedom to focus on what it is that you want in life right now, what it is that you want to achieve, looking toward the long-term goals and really putting your mind on things that bring you happiness and joy and contentment and fulfillment. I feel as if you're kind of turning your back toward relationship right now because it drains you and it brings you pain. Wanting more room to focus on yourself and what it is that you want to put your full heart into. Really focus on finances right now and career. Okay, and here is the outcome card. Ten of Swords as the outcome card. Capricorn, it feels as if you've been dealing with a very painful situation or a very draining time. Time feels like you need to uh, take a time out and really pull yourself out of the situation to kind of get your head above water and kind of get a fresh breath of air and kind of isolate yourself from the, from your surroundings to really um, understand what it was that you just experienced. For a lot of you, this is Scorpio season really just taking a toll on you. And I feel like with Sagittarius season coming in, um, this is you getting a fresh breath of air here. This is you really regaining your power and really putting your foot down on things that do not serve you anymore. But here at the Ten of Swords, I really just feel like you've kind of been through it. Um, whoever it was that you might have been dealing with in your recent past is somebody that might have, uh, you know, kind of p held you down at a lower vibration. Um, but I feel like this is your comeback month. This is the month where you take the swords out and, and you proceed in your highest power. Okay, Capricorn, that energy is heavy. I hope you guys have the most amazing comeback month. This is all I have for you guys for the month of December. I hope you guys continue to focus on what it is that your heart desires. Um, if you are being emotionally manipulated or if you have cut yourself off from somebody that was toxic, that is very positive. Um, I do apologize if this reading doesn't resonate with you as this is a very general reading for many people. However, if it does resonate with you, feel free to let me know in the comments section what does or does not. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.